India is fast emerging as a global leader in several frontiers. It is globally positioned today like never before. But this trend may be reversed if we do not take heed to the effects of climate change. Studies have shown that the impact of climate change is more profound on the agriculture sector. In India, it affects livelihood of people significantly as agriculture is still the prime source of income and sustenance for millions of farmers. Climate change is a global phenomenon. Its effects include increased climatic variability, increased frequency of extreme events, and rapid climate change causing drastic shifts in ecosystems. Over the last decade, regions particularly in the semi-arid tropics received insufficient rainfall. Lands have been abandoned due to lack of water and families have migrated to urban locations. Livestock population has declined and temperature has increased, resulting in loss of yield. These changes are slow and often go unnoticed. With a vision to provide science-based solutions for the benefit of the farmers to combat climate change in the semi-arid regions of Asia. The International Crops Research Institute for the Semi-Arid Tropics or ICRISAT along with ICAR conducted a research project titled Vulnerability to Climate Change, Adaptation Strategies and Layers of Resilience. The project was funded by the Asian Development Bank and is being implemented in seven countries in Asia. The joint research captures ground-level realities of the agricultural communities, response behavior, constraints and trends in resources and socio-economic aspects related to climate change and variability. ICRISAT provided the institutional framework to build and develop a scientific knowledge base with the help of farmers' experience and knowledge. The study was designed to find out the actual trends in climate change based on weather data. Assess the vulnerability of climate change in different locations and examined how crop productivity is affected with the increase in temperature and identified adaptation strategies. The study analyzed how farmers adapt and cope with these changes at the ground level by understanding perceptions of the climate changes they are experiencing. The study focusing on climate data analysis, crop modeling and studying perceptions helped develop policy guidelines. In India, data was obtained from the states of Maharashtra and Andhra Pradesh. Ground realities were obtained from household surveys as well as focus group discussions using several information eliciting tools. The study helped better understand farmers' perceptions, current adaptation measures and constraints they face. 
This study will be important not only for future mainstreaming of successful adaptation strategies, but also for planning of research in crop improvement and management. It will help improve links to local organizations to bring about required improvements in the quality of service delivery at village level of government agencies to help strengthen climate resilience of farmers. It will also facilitate access to timely information and information dissemination through formal and informal social networks like mobile phones, advisories and information kiosks. The Government of India has initiated many programs to combat the negative effects faced by farmers due to climate change. In 2008, it formed a high-level planning committee with ministers as a part of the National Action Plan on Climate Change. Now most of the issues which are affected by climate change are in terms of increasing temperature, what we call as global warming, changes in rainfall pattern, effect on radio news efficiency and these three are having are going to impact our agriculture production system because it affects not only crops it affects livestock it affects fisheries and our associate activities so government of india as you all know has been involved in both at the national and international level on these issues a massive program called national initiative for climate resilient agriculture or NICRA was started to improve research capacity and understanding of climate change. The first step in this project is to build the infrastructure for research. The second step is uh, we have been working in the last one year on the uh, preparing the uh, network research program for the country as a whole, uh, addressing the, uh, the issues like uh, uh, the varieties which can cope with climate variability and uh, livestock breeds, fish species and also the management practices. Based on the research studies conducted in seven countries, some key policy imperatives can be shared. Time-tested local knowledge of adaptation strategies can be compiled and catalogued for validation and be made accessible to those interested. Income and enterprise diversifications by farmers be considered as an effective strategy in adaptation. Climate information be accessible to relevant stakeholders. This will require responsiveness and accountability of the scientists and development professionals. Improve infrastructure at the village with irrigation and water conveyance technology. Strengthen local level collective action such as self-help groups. And finally, strengthen the competencies of professionals involved in agricultural and rural development efforts and create partnerships at local and national levels with professional bodies, international agencies and NGOs to ensure effective outcomes in adapting to climate change and variability. The troubling effects of climate change may have just begun, but this is the right time to start focusing on programs that target rural agricultural communities and help them deal with the increasing risk in agriculture due to climate change. The desired outcome of this project is to create a suitable platform for raising grassroots level concerns. It is through sharing and learning that we can address long-term needs of meaningful interventions to manage impacts of climate change. For generations to come, what we do now will decide the future.